Have you ever felt an imperceptible force gently tugging at your heart, suggesting a bond that transcends the commonplace? Have you ever wondered if your thoughts and emotions are purely your own? Or could they be whispers of a deeper connection, signs that someone, somewhere, is manifesting you in their reality? Today, we embark on an exploration of a genuinely fascinating facet of our spiritual odysseys, the notion of manifestation. Our conversation draws on the profound contributions of Dolores Cannon, a pioneer in the field of spiritual links and past life regression. The groundbreaking perspectives she shared on the expedition of the Saul Provide, a deep reservoir of insights as we navigate these enigmatic realms. Manifestation, the method of materializing our thoughts and desires into tangible reality, remains a potent tool in our spiritual arsenal. However, have you ever contemplated the possibility of being the target of another individual's manifestations? In fact, someone out there may be directing their intentions and energies towards you, perhaps without full awareness. In our exploration today, we aim to uncover the subtle indicators that point to when someone is intent on manifesting for you, drawing on the wealth of insights from Dolores Cannon's teachings. So dear seekers of the mysterious, let your curiosity lead the way. Let's enter this enigmatic world together, discovering how we are all intertwined in the endless dance of energy and intention. Indicator 1. Whispering Thoughts the sudden intrusion of someone into your mind. In the quiet moments of life, when our minds wander from the mundane, a sudden thought about someone can be a whisper from the universe. This unexpected intrusion, often during periods of lower consciousness, is no mere coincidence. It's a spiritual signal, a subtle nudge from the cosmos. As if an invisible thread connected your soul to theirs, these thoughts suggest a deep bond beyond the ordinary, a sign that you are manifesting in their existence. This phenomenon goes beyond mere fleeting memories or random reflections. Drawing on Dolores Cannon's perceptive teachings on the potency of thoughts and energy, especially in the realm of soul connections, these impromptu thoughts can serve as a remarkable indication of manifestation. Dolores Cannon's comprehensive work has revealed an understanding that our thoughts transcend mere inner dialogues. They are potent energies that create connections throughout the spiritual realm. In the act of manifesting someone, your thoughts and energies have the ability to permeate and reach them, often materializing as abrupt and inexplicable thoughts about them. This occurrence is particularly likely during intervals when our consciousness is less active, such as when involved in routine tasks. In these cases, our subconscious mind, perfectly attuned to the energies of others, becomes more open and receptive. Let's contemplate some scenarios that resonate with Canon's findings. Imagine yourself engaged in ordinary activities, such as washing dishes or taking a walk, when, out of nowhere, Thoughts arise about someone you met briefly, perhaps even during a past life regression session. These thoughts seem apparently disconnected from your ongoing task or conscious contemplations. According to Canon's insights, this could in fact mean that your souls share a connection and are communicating with you through their manifestations. Indicator 2. The Invisible Attraction. The Emergence of Inexplicable Feelings. Imagine feeling a deep and inexplicable attraction to someone, a magnetic attraction that transcends the usual. This is not the regular vibration of the heart, but a deep connection at soul level. These sudden waves of affection or attraction are heavenly indications of a spiritual bond, possibly created over lifetimes. They signal a recognition of souls, a reminder of a bond that defies time and space suggesting that you are more than just a passing presence on their journey. Canon delved into the intricacies of soul ties, connections that go beyond conventional experiences of attraction. She clarified how the soul can recognize another person on its journey, 
whether through past lives or deep spiritual bonds, materializing as potent and unexpected feelings of attraction or affection. For empathic individuals attuned to the energies and emotions of others, these feelings can be remarkably intense. Cannon's work often explores how empaths have a heightened sensitivity to subtle energies and tacit connections, leading to a deeper experience of these sudden emotions. These spiritually induced feelings differ markedly from conventional forms of attraction, stemming not from superficial factors such as physical appearance or shared interests, but from a deep recognition at soul level. This recognition often generates a deep sense of familiarity or resonance with the other person, intensifying and making the feelings inexplicable. Cannon's teachings underline the innate nature and purpose of these deep connections. They transcend mere emotional experiences and serve a higher purpose in our spiritual journey, guiding us towards meaningful interactions, lessons, and personal growth. These emotions form a vital part of the soul's trajectory, often guiding us towards individuals who play key roles in our spiritual evolution. Recognizing these deep feelings as a natural component of the soul's process of recognition and connection provides solace and understanding. Dolores Cannon's work illustrates that these emotions act as spiritual signposts, guiding us on our path of personal and spiritual development. Indicator 3. Abrupt and Dramatic Mood Swings Our emotions are not always our own. Sometimes they are echoes of connections that go beyond the present. Intense mood swings, inexplicable waves of emotion, can be a dance of influences from past lives and spiritual connections. These emotional tides, although overwhelming, invite us to seek anchorage. Through practices such as meditation, we not only balance these oscillations, but also listen to the whispers of past connections, understanding that we may be in resonance with another person's spiritual presence. Cannon's extensive research and regression therapy shed light on how our souls harbor memories and emotions from previous lives. These dormant memories can be triggered by encounters in our current existence, eliciting a spectrum of emotions that can seem disproportionate to the immediate circumstances. Meeting someone from a past life, for example, can evoke emotional responses ranging from joy to an overwhelming sense of familiarity or discomfort. These reactions transcend mere psychological responses. They represent echoes of past experiences that resonate in the present, a concept extensively explored by Cannon. In addressing these intense or inexplicable emotional reactions, Cannon advocated techniques for maintaining spiritual and emotional balance. Meditation, a practice that leads to anchoring and clearing of the mind, proves particularly effective, providing space for constructive processing and release of these energies, rather than succumbing to overload. Mindfulness and self-awareness also play essential roles. Remaining aware of our emotions and their origins offers a clearer understanding of our emotional state. In addition, engaging in activities that nurture our spiritual well-being, such as nature walks or creative pursuits, is in line with Cannon's recommendations for cultivating a balanced spiritual life. Cannon highlighted the empowerment that comes from recognizing and managing the influences of past life connections and energies. By understanding these connections, we can navigate our emotional responses more effectively, using them as catalysts for spiritual growth and development. As we become more attuned to these energies and adept at managing them, we honor our journey and appreciate the deep connections our souls have established over lifetimes, embracing their richness. Canon's vision, enriching lives with the wisdom of the past and the awareness of the present. Canon's vision enriches our lives with the wisdom of our past and the awareness of our present, helping us to face emotional challenges with greater understanding and resilience. Indicator 4 feelings of deja vu. There's magic in feeling an instant familiarity with someone new, a sense that you've met them before. This sensation, often considered deja vu, 
can be a clue to a connection with a past life or a significant spiritual bond. It's as if the universe is hinting at a hidden chapter in your soul's history, encouraging you to explore this mysterious connection. These moments of recognition are not mere glitches of the mind, but signs that point to a deep spiritual journey with someone manifesting you. Dolores Cannon's extensive contributions to past life regression and spiritual journeys have illuminated the complexities of déjà vu. She proposed that this feeling of familiarity, which often arises when we meet specific individuals, transcends mere psychological phenomena. Instead, it may signify a deeper and possibly preordained connection between souls. According to Canon, these moments of recognition offer glimpses of the soul's journey through different lives, suggesting that our paths may have crossed with these individuals in previous existences, or that they play a significant role in our ongoing spiritual journey. To illustrate this concept, imagine meeting someone for the first time and experiencing instant familiarity or the feeling that you've met them before. Alternatively, consider visiting a place you've never been, but which feels strangely comfortable and familiar. As explained by Canon, these cases of déjà vu can represent the soul's recognition of past life connections or serve as a subtle indication of a deep spiritual bond that transcends the constraints of time and space. Canon teachings advocate an open-minded approach and exploration of déjà vu feelings, urging us not to dismiss them as mere coincidences. Instead, we are encouraged to consider them as potential indicators of meaningful spiritual connections. These moments serve as deep clues from our subconscious, guiding us towards individuals who may have been part of our soul's journey in past lives, or who are destined to play a key role in our current spiritual path. Embracing these sensations of déjà vu as integral aspects of our spiritual exploration can lead to captivating revelations about our soul's journey and its intricate connections. As Dolores Cannon eloquently expressed, our lives are intertwined in ways that often escape our conscious understanding. And these instances of déjà vu provide glimpses into the expansive tapestry of our soul's experiences throughout our lives. So the next time you encounter déjà vu, contemplate the deeper connections and spiritual messages it may be revealing to you. Indicator 5. They make you feel good. Moving on to the fifth sign, let's explore how someone manifesting you can evoke a sense of well-being. When someone manifests you with high vibrational energy, it's like being touched by a beam of light. Their presence, or even the mere thought of them, fills you with an inexplicable joy, an uplift that transcends ordinary happiness. It's as if their spirit's intention to connect with you sends waves of positive energy in your direction, transforming your mood and outlook. This blissful influence is a testament to the power of spiritual connections and the joy they can bring to our lives. Dolores Cannon postulated that when someone is manifesting you, they are channeling high vibrational energies in your direction. This can be achieved through practices such as gratitude, a cornerstone of spiritual well-being according to Cannon. When someone directs these positive energies towards you, it can significantly affect your own vibrational state. Consider the contagious nature of this positive energy, aligning yourself with Canon's perspectives on energy exchange and the aura. Being in the presence of someone who is manifesting, you with high vibrational energy, inherently raises your own energy levels. This change can result in a tangible sense of improved well-being, a feeling of joy, or a sudden influx of positivity. To illustrate, imagine scenarios in which you unexpectedly feel uplifted in someone's presence or notice that your mindset shifts to a more positive outlook after interacting with them. These experiences are not coincidences, but reflect the canon's insights into the interconnected nature of our energies. The intentions and vibrations of others can influence our own giving rise to these positive transformations. 
The manifestation of this positive energy can take many forms. It can manifest through receiving unexpected compliments or affirmations that lift your spirits, or simply experiencing a sense of happiness and optimism when in the company of certain people. These interactions serve as practical demonstrations of the canon's teachings on the transformative power of positive energy and intentions in our spiritual journeys. Indicator 6. Remarkable Presence in Your Dreams In the realm of dreams, where reality blends with the mystical, someone's recurring presence signifies a deeper spiritual message. Whether it's their vivid image or a subtle sensation of their being, these dreams speak of a connection that transcends the waking world. It's as if they are reaching into the depths of their consciousness to yours, weaving their essence into your dreamscape. This mysterious communion suggests a deep spiritual bond, inviting you to uncover its hidden meanings. Manifestation in dreams can manifest in different ways. Some individuals may see a clear and vivid image of the person manifesting them, a face or body that repeats itself in different dream scenarios. For others, it can be a more subtle but powerful sensation, a feeling of presence in the dream, as if someone is watching or accompanying them, even if it's not directly visible. A crucial aspect of these dream encounters is their recurring nature. When the same person or sense of presence appears consistently over several nights or weeks, this can indicate robust manifestation efforts. This persistent presence, which comes to you on a subconscious level, aligns with the teachings of the canon, suggesting that our subconscious mind is intrinsically linked to the spiritual realms and can serve as a receiver for such profound messages. These dreamlike encounters often carry a mysterious and inexplicable quality. The purpose of this presence may not be immediately apparent, especially when it manifests in dreams seemingly unrelated to our daily lives. However, their consistent appearance contains a significant meaning, suggesting a deeper connection or message waiting to be understood. The emotions evoked by these dream experiences can range from curiosity to a sense of unease, particularly due to their persistent and perceptible nature. This is in line with Canon's perspective on spiritual encounters as profound but sometimes enigmatic experiences. They are designed to awaken our curiosity and lead us deeper into understanding the mysteries of our soul's journey. To interpret these dream experiences, it is crucial to reflect on them and consider their potential as messages or signs of deeper spiritual connections. Dreams, as Canon has proposed, can be a powerful tool for understanding our soul's journey and the connections we share with other people, both in our present life and in past lives. Indicator 7. Spiritual Awakening. A Call to Your Inner Self. Sometimes a sudden and inexplicable desire to dive deeper into your spirituality signals that someone is manifesting you. This phenomenon aligns deeply with Dolores Cannon's teachings on spiritual awakening and soul connections, transcending typical spiritual practices or beliefs. It can manifest as a newfound interest in meditation, introspection, or exploration of spiritual texts and practices. This desire for spiritual connection can indicate that someone who is manifesting you, with their spiritual energy directed towards you, can trigger a corresponding response in your own spirit. This stimulates a deeper understanding of your inner world, creating the feeling that something or someone is trying to reach you spiritually. However, encountering mental, emotional or spiritual barriers is a common experience. These barriers, which previously prevented deeper connections or self-awareness, instill in the soul a sense of longing or searching. Interpreting this inner call is crucial, often indicating an attempt at spiritual connection. Becoming more attuned to one's spiritual self helps to recognize and understand these manifestations. The canon's emphasis on self-awareness and spiritual growth guides this process. Improving this spiritual connection involves dedicating time to meditative practices, journaling and embracing activities 
that nurture the spiritual dimension of being. I hope this video helps you to discover how manifestations can turn thoughts and desires into reality and to explore the intriguing possibility that someone may be manifesting you without even realizing it. Subscribe and share this video if you like it. Don't forget to write a comment